Hello everyone. Now we'll discuss YAG program to recognize valid identifier, operators and keywords in the given text. And this text may contain a C program. Okay. For this question, we have to write the YAG program. So as you know, uh, if they ask you to write YAG program, it should start with the Lex part, right? So when we look at the question, uh, they have given when we give input as a text file in that text file c program is written so first we have to create a file where the c code is present okay and this this file is fed as input to the uh, program fine so in that c program we have to find out uh, which are the identifiers and which are operators and also which are keywords okay let's start with the lex part here header files are declared as well as y.tab.h is used and also uh, the global variable yyl val and with the help of the keyword extern. So this is uh, used to declare the global variable extern and this variable is uh, declared but without assigning any memory to it. Okay. Now we'll con next part is the rule section. So looking at the co uh, question, we may uh, think of writing the regular expression. I mean, what is required in the rule section, right? So as asked in the question, uh, our program may include operators and also keywords and the identifiers. So that should be considered while writing the regular expression. First, we'll take the operators. So in our C code, we may use uh, uh, these operators or many more can be used but I have listed out few plus or minus or multiplication symbol or division symbol or equals or lesser than symbol or greater than symbol so this is written in a character class okay if this is uh, encountered in my input then what action should be taken print f operator is so that this matched uh, string is placed in y dot uh, sorry yy text and this need to be printed with the help of printf statement okay and uh, what uh, token should be written to the yag that is op written op okay and before this I have written slash t the slash t um, is nothing but the uh, tab space right if any tab space is encountered in my c file then what action need to be taken do nothing semicolon means do nothing so no action will be taken fine and next uh, is we have also considered the numbers right there may be numbers in my program as well but is that is not uh, asked in the question uh, but still we are writing this if you don't want you can skip it okay right so next uh, 0 to 9 plus that means any if any one digit is present or one number is present then what action need to be taken convert that from ascii to integer and you know the match string is stored in yytxt right and that after converting it store it in yylval right and print it off with the help of printf statement and what token should be written digit the name of the token for numbers is digit okay and next is keywords so i have listed out few keywords in regular expression int cat bool float void for do while if else written you can also include printf scanf and also uh, but i have writ uh, written only few keywords in the uh, regular expression so when this is encountered in my c file then what action need to be taken uh, print it as uh, keyword okay and you know the match string is stored in yy text and print that and written key token to the yak program fine next is the last one is uh, identifiers right so for identifiers write the regular expression and uh, uh, specify what action need to be taken that is identifier and written token as id that should be mentioned here right and after that dot of uh, dot is written as you know it is a, a echo uh, macro and when this is encountered or, or you can see this dot will match uh, match other than the regular expression that we have written above okay when this is encountered do nothing 
right so next part is yak part in this we have defined the header files in the declaration part and also uh, variables are declared to count the identity num identifier number digit number keywords number and the operators number fine and next specify which are the tokens that we are referring here digit id key operator okay and then uh, terminate with uh, uh, percentage percentage and next comes the uh, rule section where uh, we have write, we are going to write the production rule right and input is a non terminal and this is a production rule right see in my uh, c program i may encounter digit followed by input and this input can be either id either keyword either operator right so it's, that's why to encounter all the uh, uh, possibilities we must write the grammar properly okay when digit is encountered in my code then increment digit variable okay if or here you can see or symbol is uh, given if id is encountered and it is followed by another input then increment identifier similarly for keywords followed by input increment keyword key uh, keyword operator followed by input increment operator uh, variable then uh, along with this uh, at the uh, at somewhere in the code you may only find digit say uh, sum is equal to 10 so this 10 is nothing but the digit right so if that is the case that should be checked right increment the digit uh, a variable if only id is encountered then increment id only key is encountered then increment key variable also and similarly for operator then increment operator and it is and terminate it terminate this grammar with the semicolon next comes the uh, main c code section okay where uh, header files are written okay and here we are calling we are written y y x as well as y y parse as well okay and also a file pointer is declared y y in as you know y y in as the standard uh, input file pointer and uh, y y out as standard output file pointer and by default y y in points to the uh, keyboard and y y out uh, file pointer points to the monitor okay in my main function i am opening a file that is input dot c in dream mode so this if this pro this file is see in my program i'm just opening i'm trying to open this file in read mode okay so if that file is not present in the system then i can't open written minus one if this file is present if this if condition fails then assign my file to y by in that is standard input device or the input uh, file pointer here if once you assign this you go on traversing the c code by calling y by parse till where till end of the file okay once you uh, parse the whole input file then print the number of identify uh, sorry numbers keywords identifier and the operators with the help of printf statement okay that is all about the code and if any error uh, we find then print it up as a error fine next we'll see how uh, this program works i'll consider this input dot c as this file okay and this c file uh, contains all this float care care uh, variable name care care c and if condition is written print statement else print statement and this symbol is also i mean curly brace is also written so when the sparse function works then it will take each and every word here it will start with void void is what void is a keyword say in lex part i have written void as a keyword right in regular expression that's why void is a keyword next main i have not included main in the keyword that's why it is given at a, a taking it as a identifier okay if you mention this main in the keyword then again this will be considered as a key uh, keyword itself next float float is a keyword i have mentioned in the regular expression 
float as a keyword then a123 this is identifier character this is keyword a uh, this is again uh, identifier b123 this is again identifier char this is keyword c um, identifier if keyword sum variable i mean identifier equals equal equal so this one this equal is operator this equal is also operator and uh, 10 sorry here make it as 16 so that here number is 16 is number and then printf i have uh, not included in the keyword that's why it is taking it as identifier if you want make this as a keyword include uh, printf word in the regular expression as keyword okay pass pass is identifier else keyword identifier uh, printf is identifier again fail is fail is also identifier right so at last it will find out how many numbers are there keywords are there identifiers are there and operators are there in the code okay that's all thank you